Jamie has been uh, begrudgingly our head referee at all, all of our events. <laughs> and uh, I was almost a ref today, but I, I got up the last second. That's right. So Zach uh, is one of our Bridge Valley students here who also worked as rep. And uh, where's Pam? Is she? Pam, Pam was our head judge today and has been in most of our tournaments. So please thank that leadership team who allows you guys to have the most fair, equitable, and uh, efficient tournament. Alright, and now what you've been waiting for. I keep forgetting to look at the camera because I think there's like 50 people in the other room looking at me right now. Um, the first award that we're going to give away is the one that most of you are probably already aware. Uh, because of a large event, we operate in alliances of three teams. And each of those three teams uh, that got the highest score today is called our winning alliance. And so I'd like to announce, actually I'm going to ask Brian to announce, the winning alliance today. So we had 6815A Lincoln County High School, 8330 Classical and Mechanics, and 8582B will go to Stay up front, stay up front for a second. Get together, over here in the middle. Big back signs. Scoot, scoot towards this way, towards the middle, this middle. Good, get together. It's the photo op. Okay, we, got, we have the token trophy. Three more down. Okay, so we got the volunteers, we got the students, and everyone say cheese. Got it, all right, thank you. Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Got it. Yeah! <laughs> okay, and the skills competition that goes on over here um, is an incredibly important component of that. And teams are ranked continuously through the season. But at each event, we recognize the team that had the highest combined autonomous and driver score. And that team today is... 20610A. Woo! Yeah! 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 us because as a rookie team they showed such enthusiasm and such plans and such maturity for a rookie team. So the rookie team judges award goes to 45161A the Casson Eagles. Might be one team, you know, their, their battery dies, they give them their battery so they can keep going on competing. 
So the sportsmanship award today goes to Liberty High School 84754A. Innovate Award. When the judges go around and look, is it louder now? Yeah. Because I just turned the thing. Okay, good. When they go around and look at the different teams, uh, often something rises above. They think that that was a solution to a problem that we had never thought before. We haven't seen at other tournaments. That is truly astounding. And to recognize uh, innovations like that, uh, we choose one team to receive the Innovate Award. This year's innovative, uh, this event's innovative award winner is 942A Vadars from South Charleston. Woo! kids come up through the different programs, when they get to VEX, there is an increased importance on what you built, how you built it, and to be able to replicate uh, that design later on. We judge that in large part through your engineering notebook and the student's ability to articulate exactly what they built and how they evolved their design through the iterative process that is so important to engineering. Today's design award goes to 5766A, The Valley Project. <laughs> They're not rookies. So before Todd describes the next award, I want to take a quick moment to remind everybody... Okay. <laughs> to remind everybody how you earn a berth at the state championship. So we've already got eight teams qualified from our past two qualifiers. From this event, if you win an award, you're invited to states and I'll email your coaches first thing Monday morning. If you're not one of the teams that wins an award, the last eight to ten slots will be filled from the skills challenge you've been doing all day from their world ranking. So even if you don't take home a trophy today, you still have a chance. Go ahead, Todd. <laughs> I was super nervous at that button. <laughs> that bow system has some volume to it. Um, so the Excellence Award uh, recognizes a team that the judges had on the top of their slate across all the judging areas, and the team did an outstanding performance in the field today. 
They are truly our all-around winners for the event. It's the most prestigious award that we give away at our VAX tournaments. Today's Excellence Award goes to... From James Rumsey Technical Institute, 9451A, Hufflepuff. having a great time. I saw robots that did things that I had not expected or seen before. I saw terrific competition and performance today. It really was uh, a wonderful experience and people really appreciated the feeling they had here. It's sort of uh, almost like being back at home, being here at Bridge Valley. So I hope that we're back here again next year running our event. But the season's not over. Every one of you are invited to the state championship to come. It is our largest venue in the state. It's the largest event that we run. And this year, we're inviting all of our high school teams to come Friday night. Many of you do anyhow, and just show up and say, how can I help? Well, now we're going to ask you to come on purpose so that you get robot can be inspected to avoid the bottlenecks that we often see in the mornings and make the day run more efficiently. But also because we're going to run the first ever VEX University competition at Fairmont State the night before. So on Friday night, starting at noon and going till 8 p.m. is going to be the first VEXU event with teams from across the east, eastern seaboard. We have Virginia Tech, we have teams from New York, where else we have? Georgia. Georgia, and of course, we have several teams competing from West Virginia. So, in fact, we have a team right here who helped us run our event today. I didn't like that, but that's not my fault. Uh, so my point is, you're all invited to come watch college level teams play in the same field with bigger robots on Friday night and stay for what will be some of the best VEX competition you've seen in West Virginia on Saturday at Fairmont State University's Falcon Center. Of course, as always, entrance is free and we'd love to see as many people there as possible. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Safe drives home. And we'll see you at our next tournament. Woo!